Hello and welcome to Engineer Simple. So in this part, part 1a, I'm just going to do the derivation that I left out from part 1 of transformer test and zero sequence impedance for grounded Y, grounded Y with buried delta. And actually, this derivation applies to any grounded Y, grounded Y, it, with or without a buried delta. So this is a summary from part one. So I'd recommend watching part one. So basically, I'm just summarizing the results we got from part one. So four tests were applied. So test one basically is a measure of the zero sequence impedance of the high side plus the delta since the low voltage was open. So here's quantity. So basically the test one gave us the zero sequence impedance, which is the sum of the zero sequence impedances of the high side and the delta, the buried delta. Test two, so it's zero sequence impedance of the high side plus the zero sequence impedance of delta in parallel with the low voltage. So this quantity here, I can re rewrite this as plus from circuit analysis. If you have two impedances in parallel, basically their equivalent is just the product of the two impedances divided by the sum of their two impedances. So, so this is what I'm going to use later. Then test three, I got an imp a zero sequence impedance that is the low side is zero sequence impedance plus the delta since the high side was open, applying during the application of this test. So, so then the zero sequence impedance I obtained from test three is that's the sum of the zero sequence impedances of the low side and the delta. Then test four, so it was the zero sequence impedance of the low side plus the zero sequence impedance of the delta in parallel with the high side. So again, I can rewrite this as plus. And again, like I said, for test two, in a time you have two impedances in parallel, the equivalent is just the product of the two divided by their sum. So this quantity I'm going to use later. So keep in mind these four quantities that I'm going to use later. And in part one, I, I went ahead and used this equation here to calculate the equivalent zero sequence impedance of the shunt branch of the T model, if you remember. T model was like this. So I had the high side here, low side here, and here I have the shunt branch, which I called Y. So this is the kind of high side. This is the zero sequence of low side. So uh, applying those, those four tests, really the intent was to calculate these values. Then in part one, I went ahead and calculated this part here using this equation. And I, if you remember, I had a statement that says for now, just trust me on, on this, basically this here, but I will do another video. So this is the video I promised. So here's what I'm trying to kind of prove. That way, if someone was not sure how I came up with this, 
equation. So this will be the proof. So here's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to just take this quantity here for now. And later I'll take the second one. So now I'm going to take this one. And I'm just going to square it because I want to get rid of the square root. So really that's all I'm doing. So you see I'm just getting rid of the square root. Then from the previous slide, I'm going to, instead of the zero sequence impedance obtained in each test, during each test, I'm going to plug in the equivalent, you know, basically these quantities here, the ones I kind of circle. So the zero sequence impedance from test one basically is just this quantity. From test three, it's this. Test four is this entire thing. And test one again is just this. So if I notice this fact, this quantity here is common. So I'm going to factor it out. That's what I'm doing here. Times then, I'm just going to bring this down minus this quantity here. That's what I'm doing. Then I notice these two cancel out then I have then I just do simple multiplication rearrange I get these two cancel each other and I'm left with basically just uh, the square of the zero sequence impedance of the Y which I put here and if you remember this is what I started with right this is what I started with so that's what I'm just writing it here. Then I'm going to basically take the square root of, you know, I have two sides, right? So I'm going to take the square root of both sides. So the square root of this here is just the zero sequence impedance of y. This is not needed. But anyway, so, so this is what I arrived to. So I proved that the zero sequence of impedance of y is equal to this quantity. So now I'm going to take the other side. So now I'm going to take this quantity here and I'll do the same thing. So I take it here, take the square of it so I can get rid of the square root so I can work around. So then I just plug the values here for each zero sequence impedance obtained from test. So really that's all I'm doing here. So then I notice this factor and this factor is common to both sides. So I just factor it out. So then I'm left on this side here, left side, zero sequence of high side plus zero sequence of low of the delta. So that's what I'm writing here. Minus this here, minus plus this. So that's what I'm doing here. And notice these two, they go away. So, I'm, so just kind of simple math. And I, I come up with this, then kind of do some more these two cancel out so I'm really I'm left with this so I'm bring it here and remember I came up with this here starting with this so that's what I'm I'm just bringing that factor here again take the square root of both sides so this is what I get So I proved that this here is equal to this. So, so I basically this is what I showed. I showed this is true, this is true. Then I just sum these. You know, basically this, this here plus this. It's two times the zero sequence of y. Then I just sum these two on the other side. That's really what I'm doing then divide by two both divide this by two divide the entire thing by two so then i get this 
So that's so basically I proved. Yep. Yes, this is true. So now you can safely use that quantity calculating the equivalent T model of a three phase, three leg core transformer. If it's a grounded Y, grounded Y. So that's it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to watch more videos, you know, you can go to Engineering Simple. Thank you and have a great day.